Hello everyone, this is Helios Raven. I tell you how I do it, even if you don't care. And today we're gonna look into we're gonna continue our in-depth look of the Imperial Navy with the Vessels of the Imperium book. This is a book that came out after the Battlefleet Gothic um rules came out and the game got underway, where it added additional ships to the Imperial Navy plus introduced the Space Marine ships. Now, since we're still working on the Imperial Guard, we're going to ignore the Space Marine section of this chapter and get back to them at another date. And with our first chap with the first index, they gave us two new battleships. First, the Apocalypse class battleship. Now, the Apocalypse battleship cl battle sh class battleship has 12 hit points like all the others. Its speed is 15, turns are 45, four shields, front armor 6, side rear armor 5, and four turrets. This ship is more better suited as a long-range gunnery ship. Its main design is since it's got, on its left and its right side, six strength lance batteries, which is really good since those are six dice that roll that do damage on a four plus at 30 centimeters. Plus, it's got a nova cannon on the front of the ship, and it's got a dorsal weapon battery of 60 centimeters, strength six, that can shoot left, front, right. Now, like we said, weapon batteries aren't really great at long range, but it's nice to have, know that it's got some type of close combat capability as well. So this is a pretty neat long range ship for what you have. Also, um, like all the other ships, that this one cannot make the come to a new heading special order. And if the apocalypse is given the lock on special order, it may increase the range of its lances to 60 centimeters for that shooting phase only. However, if this option is used, the Apocalypse will suffer an immediate thruster critical damage as soon as these lances are fired. So it's not a really great special rule to use, but it's nice as like a last-ditch effort if like some ship's trying to get away or something. In all in all, the Apocalypse-class ship isn't a bad ship. It's a really great long-distance range fight um, ship in the long run. But personally, I'd probably take a Retribution class or the Emperor class battleship over it, but in general, if you're looking for a nice long-range type of battleship, then this is definitely the choice to make. Then the other battleship that they introduced to this was the Eberron, the Oberon. I Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I believe it's pronounced Oberon, um, bat class battleship. This is, again, sort of like the, um, it's basically a it's more of a support close combat ship. It's something you would try to um, bring forward slowly. It's got ordnance control with it because it's got launch bays, which ha has two squadrons each, one on its left, one on its right. And it can carry fighters and bombers, which is all really nice, especially when you're going up against ordnance-heavy um, armies like the Tau. It's got two sets of weapon batteries. The first set is on its left and its right, with a strength 6, 60 centimeters. Again, weapon batteries aren't great at long range, but it's nice to have something that can go pretty far with its weapon batteries and do some decent damage. Um, it's got two lances on its left and its right, so lances are always really good. They're one of my personal favorite weapons on any type of battleship. And it's also got a POW and dorsal weapon battery of 45 centimeters, strength 5, which can fire left, front, right. So when this thing gets alongside another ship, it's going to wreak havoc on it. I mean, I will be very surprised if there's anything left after a ship gets in the battle with this thing. And it's per and like I said, if you're looking for a more close-in-your-face face type of army, then the... the um, Oberon is definitely the um, battleship to take. Um, a note on it is is that it cannot come to a new heading, and like the Emperor class, it got rid of its front armor. Yes, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. This one only has an armor 5, but it has 5 turrets. And because of this, it basically gave up its front armor to get some special, to get special probes and such, which adds a plus 1 to its leadership value. And at five points, you can add shark assault boats to this thing. So it has so basically for five points, you can have two offensive ordnance and one defensive ordnance, which isn't a bad um, trade-off, especially since it's a lot cheaper than the um, it's a lot cheaper than the apocalypse class battleship. I probably between the two of them would take that one myself. But again, that really all depends on what kind of ship combat you're going for. 
in the long run. And that is it for the battleships on the Imperial Navy from the vessels of the Imperium. We will continue this with the next section, and until then, this is Helios Raven, signing off.